This week on Outdoor Bound TV. It's the first in a two-part series of fishing for probably one of the toughest species to catch through the ice, trout. The first species we'll target, lake trout, generally hold over deep structure with fishing depths of 80 to 90 feet not uncommon. Let's pack up and head to none other than Reed Lake, Manitoba with our resident lake trout expert, pro staffer Brian Bogdan, in search of some of those giant lake trout that roam this body of water. Look at that fish. Yes! It is girls weekend. That is awesome. Definitely a treat. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master Ice Augers. The new Ultralight Rip and Wrap offers a smaller profile and slower, more seductive action on the fall than any other rattle bait on the market today. The number four Ultralight Rip and Wrap is irresistible to big perch and slab crappie, yet it fishes big enough to tempt trophy caliber predators during a cold front or anytime walleye, pike, or lake trout key in on smaller profile baits. This winter, when you hit the ice looking for your next lunker, think big, go small with Rapala's new Ultralight Rip and Wrap. Got one. Jake, there he bit. Great fish. And the dangler rod holder. Introducing the dangler rod holder. Revolutionizing tip down performance. Available at your local retailer or online at danglericefishing.com. Strike Master introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and the two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strike Master. Duncan Creek Wood Creations is putting quality, handcrafted products from the north woods of Wisconsin right at your fingertips. Offering a full line of custom wood furniture, bedroom sets, dining room tables, and cabinets. Available today, simply go to our website to select any of our in-stock, handcrafted, custom-made bars, bar stools, cribbage boards, and end tables. Shipped directly to your door in just days. Duncan Creek Wood Creations. Hey everyone, good morning. We're here in northern Manitoba. We're fishing with pro staffers Brian Bogdan and Captain Lee Hosh. Now, we're on a lake called Reed Lake. The weather today is really kind of overcast. It's snowing a little bit. It's even a little bit of mist outside and it's pretty windy. So we threw up the old otter hub shack and climbed inside and we're nice and cozy in here. What we're doing is we're fishing lake trout today. Now, Reed Lake is well known for two things, big pike, and big lake trout. It's a real clear lake. It's a deep lake. Right now we're in about 30 feet of water and uh, we're gonna be looking for some trophy lake trout today. We're marking fish, but just nothing's going. Yeah, had one bump over there that was about it. And I even, marking them. we had a flag go and you took about six feet of line. I missed them, but it's definitely lake trout. That familiar that head shake. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Ooh. Nice, oh, nice, nice Laker. Nice Laker. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There's a dandy. Yeah. Good job, Lee. Very good. Nice, nice healthy fish. We're gonna let this one uh, go back and grow up back and catch this one again another time. Yeah, let it sit right on bottom foot slack. And they'll pick it up a lot of times they'll just be eating that chum. It's the hardest thing not to lift it to them. Like the hardest thing. It's still there, see him moving on the bottom. He came in and I tried lifting up, which is really a technique we use with lake trout. 
and he didn't chase the bait. So Brian suggested just opening the bale, dropping the bait right on the bottom. And that's right where the fish is. He's right on the bottom if you look at the mark of him. Come on. <laughs> He's still there. So what we're doing is we're waiting for him to actually pick the bait up. So here in Manitoba, we can put chum down the hole. So there's chum down on the bottom of the lake. And what we think he's doing is eating the chum there. And uh, so we're waiting for him to pick our bait up. Oh, man. Here, right? Come on. It's bright red. Come on. Get it. You're right on it. He's coming up. He's following it, too. Come on. I've seen you go into set hook pose there. <laughs> you notice that, did you? I did. Yeah, and with lake trout, they have such bony mouths that you really got to lay into that hook set. As their whole outer rim of that entire mouth is all bone. And just in the back end of it, back inside the mouth is finally where you get into flush. So you actually have to turn that hook through bone. And if you are too wimpy on that hook set, most of the time you just don't bury a hook. You drop them pretty quick. Oh, he charged it there. Yeah, he did. There he's coming. Come on. Jeez. Come on. He's not having any of it though, is he? Well, I'm going to get a tube on. I'm going to maybe okay. have a smaller tube and see if I can hook into that fish. This is a ton of fun. There we go. Oh yeah, this is definitely a laker. And he is mad. Oh, is he mad? <laughs> I think he just realized he's hooked. Oh man, you got to be ready with Lakers because they will charge you like that. They'll charge back at the hole and you got to reel as fast as you can to stay on top of them. There we go. Nice Laker. Not a giant by any standards. plump little guy and you notice how short his mouth is they actually have a subspecies in in reed lake it looks like they're a hatchery fish like they've been s swimming around in a in a tub or in a pool all their lives it's never been stocked this lake ever it's just a subspecies they just got a short little beak mouth but they grow really plump so when you get one of these fish that's 36 37 inches they are ultra deep just slobs but this is the perfect size to let go and Regrow for somebody else. Beautiful. Back down the hole he goes. See you later, buddy. All right, go set up another Cisco dead stick and uh, two fish off this hole. One was a pike, but they might be a little further in shore than I think they are. It's a real fast, sharp break right here. And maybe they're more on the top side of it, but eventually as the day rolls, they usually start pushing a bit deeper, but we'll see. If we start catching more fish, we'll punch some more holes shallow. Stay mobile is the key up here. Well, Brian, you may have to give him a try. I just can't entice him to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, no matter what I do, he didn't want any part of it. Oh yeah, I see him on bottom coming up right now. <laughs> yeah. This one's chasing him. Oh yeah, this one's coming up for me. He's meeting me, he's meeting me. Come on. Yeah, I can tell they're out of my cone a little bit. Now they're in Brian's. I can see his bait coming down. Now one of the things you can do when you're fishing like this in close proximity, there's something on your electronics called cone angle. And with our Markham, you can actually reduce the cone angle. What happens when your transducer sends a signal down, it sends it out in the shape of a reverse cone, kind of like an ice cream cone. And what you can do is reduce that cone angle so you pick up less of what's around you. Now, if you're fishing by yourself, you want a wider cone angle because you want to be able to see the fish around you. But when you're fishing side by side with another fisherman, like Brian and I are right here in close proximity, narrow up that cone angle and now it's going to look more just below your hole. Fish, got him, got him. I wasn't even paying attention at all. At all. You know, you try to figure out how you repli replicate what in the world you got going. Oh, guess what I got? A pike. I wish it was, was anything but what I got. Oh no. We think we figured out what's down there. Look at that. And that's what the big trout eat though. Is 
That's a perfect size whitefish for a big laker to eat. I was gonna say, now you'll put that on a on a tip up, won't you? Yeah. Put oh. that down or a dead stick. And... Yeah, tulipy, whitefish. Now it's hard or... to believe that there is a fish big enough that it'll eat that. <laughs> you know, isn't that <laughs> wild? But uh, it's, 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 you know, big fish, big baits, right? That's right. So I think we answered our our uh, scenario of what's going on down there. Yeah, but where the bait are, the trout, that's where the trout comes, so. It's a good sign. That's a very good sign. It's a good sign. It's funny because, <laughs> to be honest, it disappeared off. It was going down. I could see it going down on my graph. And all of a sudden, it disappeared off the graph. It didn't, you know, I'm like, what happened? <laughs> it just disappeared you off the, the graph. You you think you got it? I think I'm perfect. It's got head shakes like a, like a Laker. Oh, no. No, Whitey. No, it's Laker. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. I'm gonna do the cyclone. No. Is he still in the hole? Yeah, still, still, still the there. Hole. Still there. It's coming up. Coming out up. The swirl. The swirl, Kurt. It's all about the swirl. <laughs> How did you do that? You stuck your arm in the hole, and what did you say? Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, and it brings the stuff up to the surface. Get out of here. <laughs> I, Look at that. I had a client actually do that on a 30-inch walleye, and I I use it now. That's there you go. That's unbelievable. <laughs> that fish dropped, and I thought, oh, it's a white fish. It didn't look like it was that big. And, oh, and he literally stuck his arm in the hole, started swirling it, and the fish came right up. That's a crazy. That's awesome. Look at Here, that. I'm going to let you hold it. All right, sounds good. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Look at that beautiful trout. Really nice colors on these fish. Look at that. This is what Manitoba has to offer. I'm telling you, it's been a great few days here. We've really cleaned up on the pike here on Reed Lake. We took a break yesterday, went to Wacusco Lake and caught a ton of walleyes. And now we're back out for lake trout. <laughs> Manitoba, it's got it all. <laughs> awesome fish, let's get another one. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and Beaver Dam Ice Fishing. Otter, the leader in quality and innovation, is opening doors with the release of the all-new Crossover Series Ice Shelters. All Crossover Shelters convert from traditional front door entry to convenient side door entry and back again in seconds. Otter, the toughest, strongest, smartest, and now most versatile shelter on ice. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyperglide and Hyper Rattle series, to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all new professional gray tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle. Rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. Shuttle only from Markham Technologies. Ice fishermen, you've been asking for it, and here it is. The first annual Fargo Ice Fishing Show is coming December 7th, 8th, and 9th inside of Shields Arena in Fargo. Come watch seminars and learn from the biggest names in ice fishing like Jason Mitchell and Mike Olson. Also visit over 150 booths and displays and get the best deals of the year on ice fishing gear. We're talking rock bottom pricing and free giveaways. There is over 31,000 square feet of ice fishing under one roof with the best deals, biggest names, and there's something for the entire family. December 7th, 8th, and 9th at Shields Arena for the first annual ice fishing show. Fish on! Coming. Come on. <laughs> he gets to it and he turns around on. Every time. Yeah, well, especially on a bigger tube like that, whitefish don't chase tubes. They don't. Tubes know. like that, no. And not consistently up and down the hall. Up down. There you go. Good job, Kurt. Good job. 
counter-inducer out of the way. Thank you. We're going to take any chances after the last one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want you to go to arms deep again for him. <laughs> Boy, we had to work that one. He chased yeah. him up a couple times, didn't Absolutely. he? Absolutely. Oh, he's taking some line. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to reel up so you don't get double hooked okay. here. You know, we really had to work this fish. Um, you could see on the mark them there, I would start reeling up, which is kind of my go-to for these big... <laughs> you might have something on good here, Kurt. He's, uh, he's going. And my go-to is to kind of reel up real fast and to get them to chase it. And I can usually get them to bite by doing that. Well, I did that two or three times and he was having nothing of it. He'd chase it, but then he'd get to the top and... He wasn't interested. He'd turn right back and go right down to the bottom. So I'd open my bale, I'd drop the bait right back to the bottom. I'd reel up fast by him again and he'd chase and he'd turn around. So. <laughs> oh, he Whoa. is mad. I think you got something good. He is mad. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me when you think you feel him. I thought I felt the barrel go across the edge of the hole there, but he oh, took more light. Boy, that's a nice fish, Kurt. You got, him. You got him, you got him. You got him. Oh, look at that <laughs> fish. Unbelievable. There you look go. Look at that. On a Kalen's white grub. Just <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> you know, and what really makes it special, we really had to work for this fish. We really had to entice him. It's not like he just came in and slammed That's it. That's right, so, yeah. Just another beautiful specimen. Look at his tail is kind of messed up a little bit. He's been in a few fights. I tell you what, this is what it's all Good about. Good job, bud. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, bud. So a lot of people that come up to northern Manitoba actually have never had a chance to fish for lake trout. And they're a completely different species. And chum is one of the most important things that you can do in order to not only help you catch fish, but also bring fish in. When we're cutting them up, you know, all that scent goes down there. I tell all my clients to save all their old minnows, as well as the offal from walleye or like just the remains, cut that stuff up. Uh, Cisco, all sorts of things. We also use herring and shad anything like that you know it's fair game just cut it all up send it down and just start your own basically start your own ecosystem now that isn't legal in all provinces or all states but in manitoba that is fully legal the other thing that you want to make sure you do is you don't just chum once you want to just keep going at it so i usually try to do it every 50 minutes go up chum all my holes especially the ones that we're fishing in and especially the ones that we have deadlines in and that just helps freshen up because fish will roam through. They'll actually pick that bait up and might not actually ever touch your lure or, or your dead stick line. And so you don't know if there's anything left down there. So it's just a good idea. Freshen up the scent. The stuff starts slowly falling down and those fish see it from a long ways away, suck in. And then you can get just that many more fish coming into right where your hole is drilled. You can see we're right tight along shore here and it's only 24 feet of water. Kind of amazes me how quickly this all drops off. Um, but it seems like these lake trout are coming right around this corner and going deep into this bay and coming in and out of here. And this is one of their travel routes. So we're trying to cut them off as they're either coming in or going out along this uh, drop off. Oh, we got one suspended up a little higher. That's what we're doing. I'm just trying to get right above it. Kind of teasing up and down just above that fish, trying to get him to chase it up. And uh, also, oh, there we go. Uh, just moved to these holes and put some bait down, or put some chum down, and hit it down to the bottom. Had a bite right away, that one got off, was letting it right back down, and uh, immediately, the fish hit it right away. Oh, another nice. Nice lake trout. These are a lot darker than the ones I'm used to seeing in Lake Michigan. Hard to describe how, how orangey these fins are. You know, I thought this was a whitefish at first, the way it hit, and now he's starting to bulldog me a little bit, so we might just have <laughs> a lake trout on. Ooh. 
you know what I was seeing on my graph was just some some small fish what I thought was small fish towards the bottom and I thought it was a like I said just white fish so I kind of dropped down to them not a lot of interest when I started to reel real fast and they're starting to come up oh, yeah. definitely not a white fish look at that <laughs> another lake trout awesome you know, I thought it was a whitefish, and, and he started to chase it off the bottom, and I thought, boy, that looked a lot more like a trout, or acted a lot more like a trout. And, uh, well, then he didn't hit it, and he kind of just lounged around, so I went back down to him and came back and hit it one more time. I tell you what, the white tube bait has certainly done the job for us today. I think this is fish number four on the tube. Look at that pretty fish. Lake trout are just beautiful here. Really nice colors, nice speckles. I love catching lake trout. They're a lot different than catching walleyes and pike and so on. You really have to work them. You need really good electronics uh, to be able to... In fact, I can't imagine trying to fish lake trout without electronics because this fish actually hit probably 15 feet off the bottom. That's how far he chased it up. So you really need good electronics to chase lake trout, but they're a ton of fun. Look at that. Great fish. Oh, Kurt. Oh, Kurt. Kurt, he hasn't stopped yet. Oh my goodness, I gotta tighten up my drag. He's gonna spool me. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was what you call a run. <laughs> well, it's definitely not the same fish now. No. That was an insane run. He literally almost spooled me. Probably 70 yards of line I've got on here. This is a heavy fish. This is a heavy fish. You know, we could have packed her in, said, yeah, we had a good day. We got a lot of fish on film. You know, caught him on dead six, we caught him jigging. Could have left, but I want to see what's on this. This has got that 14 inch tulipy on there with two two odd hooks. Oh man. Oh geez. I might need to do a lateral here and pass this rod off. <laughs> this is something. Oh. I've never seen bubbles come up a hole like this before in my life. This is where things get it tricky. Trying to land an absolute behemoth in a 10 inch hole. Ah! <sighs> big baits, big fish. Doesn't always happen that way, but I love at least putting one big old tulipy laying her down or big burbot. We'll use a 16 inch burbot. Oh, my forearm is just toast. Oh, it's cramping even. You know you got a big fish when you got to stretch. <laughs> I mean, we're in the middle of fighting a fish. Oh man, alive, this is insane. It's so many fish, you never want to force it. You just got to wait them out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait till you see this. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You're so big. His belly is filling up the hole. Oh my. <laughs> Look at that. That is Northern Manitoba. And the best. Look at that fish. Unbelievable! On a 14 inch tulipy, that's where it's all about. You want to talk about an apex predator? That's your fish. Totally top of the food chain. Nothing messed with giant lake trout. Awesome. Absolutely awesome.
Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by PK Lures and Markham Technologies. Let PK Lures get you geared up this ice fishing season with the legendary PK Flutterfish. Uniquely designed for the ultimate vibration, this jigging spoon accurately mimics a distressed bait fish. And with the glowing eyes and wide variety of colors, the Flutterfish is a must-have for your tackle box. The PK Predator is a pan fish killer. The patented blade design creates a flash that triggers massive reaction bites from huge perch and crappie. Check out the full line of PK Lures at PKLure.com or at a retailer near you. Hi, I'm Matt, the pizza guy for Pizza Corner Pizza. It's no secret, in North Dakota, we take our frozen pizza very seriously. Loaded with toppings, tangy tomato sauce on an Italian style bakery crust, Pizza Corner Pizzas are the pride of North Dakota. Kurt Walbeck here, host of Outdoor Bound TV on ABC. We're excited to partner with Pizza Corner Pizza to give you a chance to win a great ice fishing trip on historic Devil's Lake. Fresh new look, same great taste. That's Pizza Corner Pizza. Fish on, Kurt! Take off to somewhere remote, pristine, perfect. Experience superior fly-in fishing in the heart of Northwestern Ontario with Nestor Falls Fly-In Outposts. Fly into one of 12 extraordinary outposts with all the comforts of home and none of the distractions. Escape to the wilderness and contact Nestor Falls Fly-In Outpost today. Offering features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors and Yeti by Northland. Look at that beautiful lake trout. I'm telling you what, northern Manitoba has it all. You know, people say all the time, why do you drive all the way north of Winnipeg to go fish? Well, this is why right here. Folks, if you're interested in coming to Wacusco Falls Lodge, please give Brian and Alyssa a call. They'd love to have you here. They've got great fishing in the summer. And as you can tell, great fishing in the winter. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Great fish. Rowan? Yep. Now don't go away. Outdoor Bound TV will be right back after these messages. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Um, those two that I got, those are the biggest lake trout I've ever caught through the ice. I actually thought that was a lot bigger fish. He fought like it was a lot bigger fish. You need to readjust those levels at all, or are you all right? I didn't miss anything, did I? <laughs> <laughs>